all right so come up with reason a little hey young people why are you so comfortable with the thought of going to hell why are you so comfortable with the thought of eternal damnation most persons when i go around and interact most of the persons i interact with are young people who are not christians and when they tell them about heaven and hell they say that's only a fairy tale that's an allegory things that people make up from the time i've been hearing about god coming back and heaven and hell oh no we can't say god coming back not no go like what they must say but how do you explain me and you going growing up together going to the same high school some of us primary school same sunday school and i choose to do something good with my life but you choose to do something evil how do you explain a young man taking up a gun and killing how many persons babies old people a young man raping a whole lady 90 year old and many times these things happen we only hear about it after it happened sometimes we don't even know who did it are you telling me that these people will get away scot-free there won't be any consequences for their actions what's driving me to do good and driving other persons to do bad or to do evil there must be a force that out, that's outside of the realm of humanity that is pushing us into either direction. I'm here to tell somebody this morning that hell is real and heaven is real and Jesus is coming back. You need to look into yourself and you need to repent and you need to change how you live. What you're swaying, that's what you shall reap. If you're swaying in God, I believe, I promise you, you won't be disappointed. But if you keep allowing the devil to use you, I guarantee you that you will suffer with him in hell. You will suffer with him in hell. You will suffer with him in hell. How can a, a young man cleanse his ways? By taking heed to the word of God. The Bible said that the rich man and Lazarus were living separate lives. Though Lazarus was poor and had nothing in terms of material things. He had everything in terms of his salvation and having a relationship with God. But the rich man looked at himself and said, hmm, may I have it all. All the houses, all the cars. Me have all the girls. And I don't need no God. But the Bible said that they, 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 both of them die. And the rich man went to hell. Most young people these days, all they want is party. And they're interested in their careers. It's fine to have a career. But have a career, but have God at the same time. Because when God is in it, let me tell you, that's when it is perfect. That's when it is perfect. So let me tell you, and let me warn you, just like John the Baptist being the forerunner for Christ, let me warn you that Christ is coming back, and he's coming back to judge. Repent and give your, your heart to Jesus. Repent and turn it over to him. Change your ways. Because let me tell you, some people think that them, after you're dead, your grandmother or the pastor can pray you out of hell. That's what um, the rich man thought when he said that, um, just let me go back go warn my family. There's no, there's no coming back from the dead. Where the tree fall, there shall it lie. There shall it lie. And I'm warning somebody this morning, take heed. Take heed. Take heed. Because let me tell you, as it now stands, your life is on the line. Your life is on the line. And you need to repent and give your heart to Jesus. You need to repent and give your heart to Jesus. You need to repent and give your heart to Jesus. The wages of sin is death. Anything you're working for, that you're going to receive. But I pray that God will cause your heart to be shifted 
unto him. I don't know who this word is for. But young people, whoever gets this message, and if you can pass this on to whoever you can pass it on to, then let it reach them. God bless you, and God bless you richly. Have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful week. In Jesus' name.